President Trump was tweeting up a storm about fake news media just hours after getting back to the U.S. from his trip overseas. News 4's Luke Moretti takes a closer look at the fake news trend. He looks into if it's here to stay. Fake news. Make no mistake, President that Donald Trump has railed against what he calls the fake news media. Media outlets like CNN and MSNBC are fake news. According to The Hill, one recent poll found that 65% of voters believe there's a lot of fake news in the mainstream media. Mr. President, the media is not fake news. Veteran journalist David Shribman and Cindy Skrzycki recently lectured at Canisius College on the subject. Shribman, a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist and executive editor of the Pittsburgh Post Gazette, says honest mistakes should not be confused with fake news. I'm not sure there's ever been a news report that was fully 100% correct, 100% uh, accurate, but the uh, important thing is that the intent be accurate, that the uh, motivation be pure, and that the work be serious. Late night shows have had some fun with the fake news concept. When I say fake news, this is real fake news, <laughs> not fake fake news. That is real news that Donald Trump just doesn't like. Journalist Cindy Skrzycki, a University of Pittsburgh senior lecturer, believes the fake news subject is fading. I think people have realized that now that the election's over, and the press covered fake news so much and talked about how fake news is created, that people are much more aware of it, and I think they're much more skeptical. Good evening. I don't think we'll ever get back to the point we were at when I was growing up, when you were growing up, where Walter Cronkite was the most trusted man in America. I mean, who has that level of trust anymore. Canisius College political scientist Kevin Hardwick, a Republican Erie County legislator, thinks the fake news concept is not showing any signs of letting up. I think as long as Donald Trump is president, he's going to be using that tag fake news on anything that he might not agree with. And, and the reason he can get away with that is because it resonates with people, because people have seen evidence of it over time. You're not even real media, you see. Just labeling something, does that make it so? I find it troubling and frightening. Buffalo Teachers Federation President Phil Remore has spent a lifetime in the field of education. He says the debate centering around fake news could serve as a springboard for more critical thinking in the classroom. I think this is something that we should start talking about in all school districts with all of our students to say, look, let's step back and take a look at this. What's going on here? Well, Kevin Hardwick tells me that whether the president is right or wrong when it comes to labeling major news organizations as fake news, he believes it not only hurts journalism, he says it hurts everybody. In the newsroom tonight, Luke Moretti, News 4.